What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video, I'm going to compare a Glock 20 10mm suppressed versus unsuppressed. And I got three different types of factory ammo here. These are all full metal jackets. I got some ammo ink 180 grain full metal jackets. I got some Magtech 180 grain full metal jackets. And I got some HSM 200 green full metal jackets and the HSM I've chronographed and that one has a muzzle velocity out of my Glock 20 of around 1050 feet per second these two I haven't chronographed yet so I don't know the muzzle velocity but they're probably going to be around 1100 or 1200 feet per second so first I'm going to shoot these suppressed and then I'm going to shoot them unsuppressed and we're going to compare the sound difference I don't have any kind of way of measuring the decibels, but we're just going to listen and see the difference in the noise level just by listening. And I got my Silencer Co. Hybrid 46. It's my Glock 20 Gen 4. Got the Surefire X300. And I got some Trigicon Suppressor Height Night Sights on here. Gonna take a couple shots now with each of these with the suppressor on. Then I'm gonna take the suppressor off and we're gonna compare the difference. Alright, guys, got the Magtech 180 grain full metal jacket, Silencer Co. Hybrid 46, Glock 20 10 millimeter. All right, guys, now we got the HSM 200 grain full metal jacket. Let's see how quiet it is. Big difference guys, that HSM is a lot slower, so that's why it's a lot quieter, you don't hear the crack of the sound barrier. So now let's try the ammo ink, see what happens with the ammo ink. Alright guys, ammo ink, Silencer Co, Hybrid 46, Glock 20, 10 millimeter. So the ammo ink must be subsonic because I didn't hear a crack of the sound barrier. I'm going to take a couple more. Here we go, three more ammo ink. Wow, that was really quiet guys. So it looks like the ammo ink and the HSM are subsonic and the Magtech must be going 
probably around 1150 or 1200 feet per second maybe more so now I'm going to take the suppressor off I'm going to shoot all these rounds with the suppressor off so you can hear the difference okay so now I'm going to shoot without the suppressor I'm going to start with the magtech Pretty big difference. Pretty big difference. All right, guys, so now I'm going to shoot three of the HSMs without the suppressor. Alright guys, so now I'm going to shoot three of the Ammo Inc. FMJs without the suppressor. All right, guys, just want to show you my hits. I wasn't really trying too hard to get perfect groups, but pretty much all of them were right there. And I think this Hybrid 46 is an awesome suppressor. It goes from 9mm all the way up to 338 Lapua and 4570. So it's a rifle and pistol suppressor. And so, as you noticed, the difference between the Ammo Inc. and HSM versus the Magtech. The Ammo Inc. and HSM were subsonic, so you didn't hear the crack of the sound barrier when the bullet breaches the sound barrier. So, so I'm going to actually start stockpiling the Ammo Inc. and HSM ammo. It's a good thing I bought a bunch of it because... These are going to be my new suppressed 10 millimeter loads. They're super quiet and they still have a good amount of muzzle energy. And uh, by the way, I'm actually shooting underneath this little hut here. So that actually makes it sound louder because when you shoot under this hut, the sound bounces off the roof and comes back down so if I was standing out in the open it would actually be even quieter so that's pretty much it for this one guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it useful stay tuned to my channel for more suppressor content and if you want to see all of my suppressor videos check out my suppressor playlist I'll leave a link in the top right corner of this video and if you want to see all of my 10 millimeter and Glock 20 videos I'll leave a link to my Glock 20 and 10 millimeter playlist in the top right corner as well but that's pretty much it guys take care God bless and don't forget the three P's prepare practice and persevere